Hey everyone, so as you can see, I have already done the first eye, so now we are going to get started on the other eye, and for today's look, I am using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I finally got my hands on this, and I'm super excited. It has gorgeous colors, especially with fall coming up. So to start off, as you can see, I taped along the outer corner of my eye just to give a nice sharp line when we remove it later, and I am taking a fluffy brush, and I first took the shade Burnt Orange, and I just applied that into my crease as a transition shade, and then I did the same thing with Raw Sienna, and then I'm switching to a smaller fluffy brush, and I'm taking the shade Love Letter as a deep pink shade, and I'm going to apply that into my crease, but not as high. As you can see, the Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna are still peeking through above the pink, and I'm just going to apply that into the outer part of my crease and then slowly drag it inward. And then I will go back in with that same fluffy brush I started with, with no additional product on it and just blend out the edges so that there are no harsh lines. Then I'm taking a flat shader brush and the shade Venetian Red and I'm just going to pack that onto the outer half of my eyelid leaving the inner half blank. And then I'm not sure where the footage went, but I also mixed a little bit of cypress umber and red ochre on a smaller brush and just put it on the very, very outer corner. And then this is me just blending it out just to add a little bit of depth and dimension. And then I am taking a flat shader brush and wetting it with some Fix Plus and I am taking the shade Vermeer and I am just packing that onto the inner half of my lid and working it towards the Venetian red shade. And then I will go back in with a blending brush and just gently blend the two together so that there are no harsh lines. Then I'm going to remove the tape and we are on to liner. I am using the NYX Felt Tip Liner in the shade Teal. I got this because I really wanted one of those Too Faced sketch markers and I wanted the shade Emerald which is a dark green. but. Um, I saw these and they are less expensive, but I can't say I totally recommend it because the very tip didn't hold a lot of product very long, so then you kind of had to use the side of it and further down, so it made it kind of difficult to get a nice smooth wing. As you can see, I kind of had to keep going back over it to get that wing to work out, and right now, as you can see, I'm swiping and there's not really any product coming off, so I had to work with that a little bit. So. You know, that's up to you whether you would want to save the money or spend it. I don't know how well the Too Faced one would work compared to that, but that is what I'm using and those are my immediate thoughts on it. And then I'm just taking a flat shader brush and highlighting under my brow with the shade Tempera. Moving on to the face, I am first priming with the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm, and then I am taking another primer, the Benefit Professional, and I am just applying that in the center of my face, mostly on the inner part of my cheeks where I have the largest pores. <laughs> And then we are going to go in with foundation and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and this is in the shade 205 Natural Beige and I am just applying that with a damp beauty blender. Moving on to concealer, this is the NYX HD concealer in the shade 04 and I'm using this to conceal and highlight my under eyes and the center of my face and I'm also going to use it to clean up and sharpen my wing. Thank you. 
And then before I blend that all out, I'm going to take the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade Cream Caramel, and I'm just going to do a little bit of cream contouring with this. As usual go in and blend it all out with a beauty blender I like to start with the lighter shade first And then I'm going to go in and bake the under eye and center of my face with the RCMA No Color Powder and a Beauty Blender. And then to set my contour, I am taking the two lighter shades of the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm just going to apply that in the hollows of my cheeks and around the edge of my hairline and my jawline. And then to warm up the face, I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium and I'm just going to go around the whole outer perimeter of my face and down my neck a little bit. And then going back in with my Beauty Blender and the RCMA powder, I'm just going to bake underneath my contour to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to go in and brush away the bake underneath my eyes and in the center of my face, but I'm going to leave the one under my contour for a little bit. And I'm taking the yellow and peach shades from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and putting that underneath my eyes just for a little bit of extra brightness. Then I am taking the same contour shades on a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to use that to contour my nose. And I'm just using this flat brush to do the initial application of the color and then I will go in and blend it out with a blending shadow brush. Moving on to blush, I am mixing these three shades from the Morphe 9B palette. Then for highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Glow Kit. I believe it is the That Glow one. And I'm mixing the three lightest shades and highlighting the tops of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and down the bridge. And 
then I'm just gonna go in and brush away that baking underneath my contour. Moving back to the eyes, I'm taking a flat definer brush and the shade Venetian Red and I'm just going to pack that up against the base of my lashes and then I'm going to blend it out with a small fluffy brush and the shade Love Letter and then the two shades I used as transitions. And then I am going to line my upper and lower waterline. I used the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner. I got it in my latest Ipsy package. Didn't love it, had to go over it so many times to get it to finally give me any color payoff. And then if you go over it after that, it starts to remove the pigment. So didn't love it, but that's what I used. And then after that, the eyes are pretty much done. I'm just gonna put on some lashes. So this is what it looks like without the lashes. And then the lashes I used are the Salon Perfect 615s. And then onto lip color, I really wanted to use the Too Faced Melted Matte in uh, Queen Bee that I just got, but it was not the right shade for this look. So instead, I am going to line them in the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in the shade 5C. And then for lipstick, I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Brink. And after that, this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye.